السلام علیکم آپ لوگوں کو کل ہمارا کل ایک ایونٹ ہوا تھا ٹیک ٹاکس ون کا سیٹرڈے ٹوینٹی فورتھ کو تو آئی ہوپ کہ آپ لوگوں کو وہ ایونٹ اچھا لگا ہو جس میں میں ڈائریکٹر مائیکروسافٹ امبیسڈر کو انوائٹ کیا تھا اس کی جو ریکارڈنگ ہے وہ ان شاء اللہ ہم لوگ منڈے کو اراؤنڈ نائن پی ایم جو ہے فیس بک پہ واچ پارٹی پہ ہم لگا کے شیئر کر دیں گے تو یا تو آپ وہاں پہ ویسے دیکھ سکتے ہیں یا آپ بعد میں دیکھ سکتے ہیں انٹروڈکشن ٹو کلاؤڈ کلاؤڈ کمپیوٹر یہ ہمارا سیشن ہے انٹروڈکشن ٹو کلاؤڈ مشین لرننگ یوزنگ ازور سروسز اس میں جو ہے ہم ہم نے جنید اقبال کو انوائٹ کیا ہے جن کا کافی ایکسپیرینس ہے اے آئی میں پھر کلاؤڈ کمپیوٹنگ میں بھی وہ اراؤنڈ تھرٹی پلس سیشنس کرا چکے ہیں اور وہ فاؤنڈر آف اے آئی اسکول یونیورسٹی آف لاہور بھی ہیں پلس پریزیڈنٹ آف مائیکروسافٹ لرن اسٹوڈنٹ امباسڈر لاہور بھی ہیں تو یہ ہم ایونٹ جو ہے ریکارڈ کریں اور ان شاء اللہ یہ بھی آپ کو اراؤنڈ سیٹرڈے یا سنڈے تک یا ہو سکتا ہے ویک ڈے میں بھی ہم ڈپینڈنگ کے کیا ریسپانس ہمیں آتا ہے ہم پول کر دیں گے اور ساتھ ساتھ ہم اس کو اپلوڈ کر دیں گے تو اس کے اینڈ میں ایک کوز بھی ہوگا وہ آپ لوگوں کو نے آپ لوگوں نے اٹیمپٹ کرنا ہے اس کی ڈیڈ لائن سیٹ ہوئی ہوگی ٹوینٹی فور آورس کی اس کے بعد جو ہے ہم ونرس کو ای سرٹیفکیٹس ای میل کریں گے تو اب میں جنید اقبال کو بلانا چاہوں گا کہ وہ سیشن اپنا اسٹارٹ کریں ہیلو ایوری ون کین یو ہیئر مائی وائس کلیئرلی عادل ہاں آپ کی آواز کلیئر ہے اوکے پرفیکٹ اوکے ایم محمد جنید اقبال سینئر ایم ایل ایس اے بی ٹیک مائکرو سافٹ فاؤنڈر آف اے آئی اسکول اینڈ ڈوٹ نیٹ ڈیولپر ود ہیونگ ون پوائنٹ سیون ایئرس ایکسپیرینس ایٹ لاکس فور ٹیکنالوجیز لاہور اینڈ آئی ایم ایم ایل فیسیلیٹیٹر ٹاپ ٹیکنیکل رائٹر ایٹ کورا کانٹیکٹ ود می دا جنید اقبال ڈاٹ کام سو نو آور سیشن گیٹنگ اسٹارٹیڈ ود ایز یور مشین لرننگ so uh, what is azure machine learning so uh, actually uh, we will talk begin with the scratch from scratch so uh, what is azure machine learning azure machine learning uh, is a fully managed service uh, that you can use to create test operate and uh, manage predictive analytics uh, solutions in the cloud Uh, with only a browser you can sign in upload data and immediately start machine learning experiments uh, it is just uh, drag and drop predictive modeling uh, a um, large palette of models uh, modules and a library of starting uh, templates makes common uh, machine learning tasks simple and quick so uh, well it is also called azure ml for short Uh, it is a data mining data science and uh, machine learning tool in the cloud uh, but it's different uh, than most data science tools because there's uh, there is no coding involved uh, traditionally uh, data science tools involve uh, python uh, matlab r or uh, sas uh, which is also uh, which is all coding based so uh, you had a terminal and uh, you had a command line and uh, you had a, a learn syntax note this one uh, this one is a drag and drop approach to machine learning so uh, it has a visual interface and it feels more uh, like visual or powerpoint than it uh, it does any other traditional data science tool uh, and uh, i think uh, this is the best tool for learning machine learning and uh, data mining because uh, you don't have a juggle both the syntax of learning how to program at the same time and jungle how to uh, data mine at uh, the data mining theory so uh, the data mining uh, frameworks and also the theories of machine learning in general uh, but this is not just a tool for beginners advanced uh, advanced users also uh, will love this as well uh, because it does it does a seamless integration with uh, sql r or python and you can mix and match so uh, all of sudden you can uh, be using sql drop sql using a uh, user module and uh, all of the sudden switch and switch uh, uh, again uh, again and again then go into r or python i do uh, so uh, i do at all the time and uh, also you can deploy these modules uh, uh, models uh, uh, machine learning models automatically uh, meaning uh, basically they pick up your model 
uh, throw it into a cloud somewhere and then you can uh, co uh, contact those models via uh, rest apis and then you can co uh, connect the uh, those apis using your auto generated code using c sharp python uh, r or matlab uh, as your machine learning uh, as your machine learning is a cloud based machine learning tool that only exists in the cloud specifically it is on the cloud azure stack or so the azure cloud platform and uh, azure is one of the services within the azure uh, ecosystem itself so uh, uh, azure is the cloud platform brought to you by microsoft so that makes azure ml uh, by extension of microsoft technology uh, azure is also a comparable to other cloud services like amazon amazon uh, web services aws and uh, uh, google uh, cloud services all of which are infrastructure as a services meaning uh, they are a platform uh, that uh, that can host a robust it services that can build entire software platforms like uh, netflix is also on uh, as you know on uh, aws or snapchat is on gcs google cloud uh, services uh, these cloud services are all software as a services where you use these services and they charge uh, you by usage like an electric bill uh, or a subscription services like a cable bill uh, so uh, because azure machine learning studio uh, is a cloud based tool it brings uh, it the strengths and weakness of cloud compare uh, computing itself so uh, let's learn the uh, pros and cons of uh, cloud computing so uh, so that you know uh, what you are getting yourself into so the first thing is the none of the cloud services uh, will almost ever ask uh, you know you how much data you need to store they uh, they would just uh, store and not ask any question about that and the reason for that uh, is storage space uh, especially uh, on cloud uh, azure cloud has been uh, uh, planting prem, uh, pretty consistently every year uh, it's gotten to the point uh, where it's only uh, going to cost you about 0 0.02 dollar to store anything online per gigabyte per month so uh, it doesn't matter if you are uh, if you are on aws or any other gcs or on azure uh, they will both charge uh, you about 0 0.02 dollar per gigabyte per month to store something uh, which is also a, a most informative information about subscription as 0 0.02 per gigabyte app per month so uh, uh, which is a uh, really cool uh, because it basically removes uh, data size uh, as an equation uh, when you uh, you have to deal with your capacity with your machine learning tools and hardware so uh, the next thing uh, next thing is uh, machine learning does not exist in a vacuum machine learning is extremely dependent on large data sets like uh, big data uh, is dependent a uh, big data is dependent on IT infrastructure so the IT uh, infrastructure in order to have an IT infrastructure uh, big enough to support big data uh, you have to have, have uh, either some kind uh, of robust uh, uh, services like data warehouses or uh, you can rent uh, that uh, stuff from AWS or uh, Google Cloud uh, Azure at uh, one of the uh, cloud services. As you know, uh, Alibaba is newly um, uh, coming in the uh, uh, market. Uh, one of the cl uh, cloud services, so uh, specifically in Azure, uh, you have all of that data uh, infrastructure to back up your machine learning. So uh, you have, for example, Azure SQL databases as your database. Uh, you have Spark and Apache Hadoop in the form of HD Insight. Uh, you have Blob storage, uh, data lake storage, uh, stream analytics in the form of ATL and Azure Data Factory in the form of uh, uh, in your all data pipelines. And uh, uh, more importantly, because uh, it, it's a Microsoft technology and it in, uh, integrates with Excel, uh, Office 365, which is uh, one uh, of the most common used uh, uh, BI tools uh, in existence. So uh, the next thing I find uh, that's really cool is that it runs on someone else's machine. That doesn't sound uh, like it means much, but the da uh, but the idea is you uh, you need. Uh, you, you don't need a very powerful computer anymore. You don't uh, need a workstation desktop anymore. Uh, 
uh, what this means uh, is you uh, you can get an iPad or you uh, and uh, uh, use any of these cloud based tools hit the uh, run button or or the execution uh, button. Uh, we will also do some practice uh, on uh, after this uh, presentation uh, and uh, if uh, if the device can open up a browser like Chrome uh, Opera at a start that idea is it can run the cloud service because uh, it's in the cloud. It's also collaborative. It means, uh, you can invite other people, your cloud spaces and uh, work together and share the same cloud space. Uh, another thing is scalable. Uh, so the cloud is very uh, good at uh, distributing workloads. Uh, as you know, among many uh, multiple nodes, uh, multiple surveys calling upon uh, extra help uh, when it needs more processing power or more storage. So uh, let's go uh, over the cons uh, of uh, um, cloud computing by using the our cloud based tool. You are committing uh, to an un, uh, unwavering intra, uh, internet connection. You can never lose internet uh, or uh, because uh, as you know, uh, uh, cloud every cloud uh, Azure, AWS and uh, GCS uh, to uh, us our same demand to uh, to uh, do every cloud uh, uh, a simple interconnect internet connectivity. Can you even in the cloud uh, is that uh, is what uh, the uh, that thing is trying to ask? Uh, does your industry uh, does the government uh, that uh, oversees your industry does your company or uh, uh, do all those uh, policies uh, comply uh, is such that our your data can be in the cloud? Uh, this is all about all about data governments. So uh, there are two main ways uh, to get Azure Machine Learning Studio. The first is the free trial method, and the second is full uh, workspace uh, method or pay. It's paid. So uh, to get a free trial Azure ML uh, workspace, uh, what you uh, do is you uh, just simply go to Azure Machine Learning website, uh, azure.mlstudio.com, uh, uh, sign in with uh, your email, and you will be given limited access workspace. If you want to a uh, fully uh, working workspace, uh, then you will need an actual Azure subscription. Then uh, once you are inside of that subscription, go ahead and uh, you will uh, have to create an Azure ML works, uh, workspace uh, within that subscription. Uh, so uh, this is the full workspace. Now if you have never uh, used Azure before, then Azure will give you a free trial subscription to start off. So uh, you will uh, get a $200 credit on your Azure subscription or 30 days, uh, whichever, uh, whichever uh, limit is reached first. Now if you uh, if you have used up your Azure free trial subscription, Subscription because you have used Azure before, uh, then you will uh, simply need to go the pay as you go route, uh, route where uh, you will add uh, your credit card or to uh, an auto pay system and it will charge uh, you for the fee uh, that uh, you have uh, incurred based upon uh, just cloud users for the month. So uh, so there's really uh, two part or to the pricing of Azure uh, Machine Learning Studio for First is monthly uh, subscription. Second uh, is for users. So first is the subscription. You have charged for $9.99 uh, per month per seat. So uh, for each work, uh, workspace, you will be charged about $10 a month. Secondly, uh, secondly is your uh, charge for usage. Uh, uh, depend on your usage on uh, Azure Machine Learning Studio. So there are uh, three parts or to the usage. Uh, the first one is runtime. Uh, so your charge uh, one dollar per hour uh, of experiment runtime. So every runtime, uh, uh, runtime you hit the run button on your experiment. Uh, you can check on this uh, image. Uh, that uh, is what you are uh, being charged for. The second part is you have charge for deployment calls. Uh, so anytime any call, anyone calls uh, your uh, deployed web services, basically uh, your uh, REST APIs for every 1000 API calls, you are charged about uh, 0 0.10 to 0 0.50 uh, depending which uh, time uh, you are going uh, with uh, for your web services. Now uh, the first 1000 API calls are basically always free. So uh, unless uh, you you are an e-commerce business. I don't uh, foresee you actually getting it uh, with these charts so at all for deployment. And then the third usage, if you are charged for storage of data, if you are more storage, like uh, if you are using more SQL data, uh, 
uh, SQL and uh, any other uh, databases. So basically, whatever data you pull into Azure Machine Learning, as uh, uh, we also seen uh, in uh, during practice level, uh, and uh, then that. So Azure uh, services we are going to use. So Azure Blob Storage charges 0.0.02 dollar per gigabyte per month. It is actually less than 0.02, but they are going around it up. So uh, it's going to be about 0.02, and then uh, if you are as you go uh, no. okay okay so i'll just uh, discuss you azure blob storage uh, if you are using azure blob storage on uh, azure machine learning which is the services we are going to use to azure blob storage charges 0 0.02 per gigabyte per month so uh, it's actually less than 0 0.02 dollar uh, but uh, they are uh, uh, they are going around it up so it's going to be about 0 .0, uh, 0 0.02 and then uh, you are going to uh, with the whole pay as you go for uh, this uh, uh, web uh, web series uh, this uh, web uh, web will uh, probably cost you 20 dollar for the month so 10 dollar for the seat and another 10 dollar for usage so uh, these all about uh, subscriptions and uh, 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 experiment uh, runtime uh, so as you uh, see uh, in the screen uh, experiment runtime uh, is uh, on your screen at runtime uh, it's runtime about your uh, pricing or depend on your subscription so uh, i will use uh, so uh, pay as you go services or my subscription is beta mlsa so uh, uh, just a minute Uh, Adil, uh, my screen is visible. Just a second. Uh, yeah. Yes, not visible. Uh, visible or not? Yes, yes, it's visible. Okay. So uh, this is a Microsoft Azure home page. Uh, so uh, I, 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 I will not discuss you about uh, Azure. Uh, uh, Azure and cloud computing. Uh, I think uh, uh, tech talks uh, have also arranged uh, 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 cloud computing years uh, how to start uh, Azure. So I will just uh, uh, give a session on machine learning studio or uh, Azure machine learning. So uh, we, uh, I will uh, start it from uh, scratch. So uh, search uh, uh, resource or services. Uh, uh, machine learning, uh, machine learning uh, workspace, machine, machine learning, machine learning uh, studio uh, workspace. So uh, click on add button. Okay, so uh, give uh, just a minute. Okay. OK, so uh, give your uh, unique workspace name if you have multiple uh, workspace. Uh, so uh, I will just MLC Microsoft Learn Community Karachi KHI uh, MLC KHI uh, my workspace name resource group. Uh, I have new created uh, MLC KHI MLC KHI. OK. So uh, Okay. Uh, workspace pr pricing tire. Uh, I have just uh, uh, tell you about uh, what are pricing tire. So uh, I, I by default it is select a standard. So yeah. So uh, web service plan uh, uh, MLC Karachi plan by automatic by default. So web services plan tiring if you uh, pricing selected uh, standard or any other. Uh, just a minute. OK, dev test for uh, uh, we'll just use uh, dev test or a standard S1. Uh, if you are using a dev test, it is free of cost and 1000 transactions you are using and two compute per hours. Uh, scaling is manual and uh, S1 uh, is standard uh, 25 compute hours uh, around uh, one. 
one lakh transactions and manual scaling and uh, s2 other and standard s3 so we are using s1 standard okay create it will just create some uh, minute a while so uh, one or two minute So uh, it is submitting deployment. Uh, we are going to create an Azure Machine Learning Workspace within that subscription. My subscription is uh, Beta Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador, and you are using whatever you uh, subscription you use pay as you go or student offer. Uh, we are uh, going go in and and uh, explore the features within that Azure Machine Learning Workspace. So uh, the first thing uh, we are going to need to do is we are going to need to get an Azure free trial subscription. And the first thing you can do is you can uh, either type in this link. Uh, the link is uh, Azure uh, machine learning or you can search it on your Google or Bing uh, machine Azure machine learning. OK, Azure machine learning studio. OK, studio dot Azure ML dot in net. OK, so uh, go to uh, goes to sign in and uh, if you are not sign in, so uh, just go, uh, use uh, any uh, Azure. Already succeeded. Refresh. Uh, MLC Kaji. Okay. Okay. So uh, it is paid, and uh, we are using standard tire pricing tire. Uh, drag and drop machine learning workflows. Uh, build and deploy solution. Leverage the community, and uh, view. Uh, click on View Machine Learning Studio. If you are using this, uh, uh, if you are using this uh, subscription, uh, just a minute. Okay. My experiment. Okay. Uh, so uh, just a minute. Don't see no. <laughs> okay, so uh, so the first thing you can do is you can either type in this link uh, in the web services plan pricing type pick uh, picking what kind of type of services you want to that web services so uh, there are too many region uh, south central us and southeast asia and whatever you are using uh, so uh, there are three uh, workspaces you can see ml Sikrachi uh, Muhammad slash Muhammad Jone Muhammad Iqbal slash, uh, dash free workspace. Uh, so if you are using free web space, uh, you have limited to access of uh, run time uh, and other is file site. So uh, we are uh, we are uh, 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 create a workspace MLC Karachi. Click on MLC Karachi. So I would switch the workspace MLC Karachi. Remember, uh, you are charged uh, as you know, as I already told you, $9.99 per workspace. So uh, I will use $9.99 per workspace. So keep it, that in mind. Uh, so the data sets uh, that you are being into Azure machine learning uh, will be saved here. Uh, so uh, so I tell you about what is modules and how to create experiment on this studio. So just a minute. Okay. So you can uh, uh, you can see 
uh, this screen and a project uh, if you are using uh, if you are created other projects if you are so uh, this is the uh, this is new the uh, um, project uh, this is new machine learning studio uh, subscription i have created uh, so uh, if you are uh, a so first uh, i just i'll discuss to you about uh, azure machine learning studio dashboard uh, experiment uh, if you are uh, using a, a click experiment sample there are so many other samples uh, uh, on uh, experiments uh, sample do, uh, uh, uci and other data sets and cross validation and many others as, uh, experiments by default uh, you uh, uh, machine learning studio will gi uh, give you so just let me know so uh, okay to create a new basically uh, experiment so uh, or a uh, um, uh, or a new uh, anything uh, you can go to this uh, new button uh, uh, and uh, on the button left hand uh, uh, corner of your screen so click on uh, this new and so uh, we can create a new and then blank experiment so click on blank experiment uh, so now uh, so new and uh, just a minute uh, okay so if you needed any help on learning uh, how to do something like i don't know preventing maintenance uh, you can go ahead and uh, clone one of those things uh, you can use this experiment tutorial and many other uh, uh, learning material and, and you can also use microsoft learn site for uh, machine learning and many other if you are uh, if you want to learn uh, uh, i'm going to go ahead and close this uh, box right up here so uh, this our experiment workspace and notice uh, it gives us some uh, hints uh, as uh, to how this work uh, works and uh, uh, notice that it operates uh, by some kind of module connecting other modules in some kind of workflow type fashion and uh, uh, if you if you have ever used the video before it looks like a video that only uh, falls on uh, uh, top to bottom so that will be your control panel uh, and, uh, and you can expand it left and right over here uh, and uh, uh, let's take a look at uh, at our save data sets real uh, save data sets and uh, go to sample there are many uh, samples you can see uh, adult census uh, income suppose we can drag and drop adult income spends uh, income binary uh, so and i'm going to drag uh, in the uh, adult census income data set so notice that all uh, i had was just drag it in so click uh, held on to it and moved it on to the workspace and notice that this object is representing the entirety of data set or I can uh, visualize the data set. Uh, just a minute. I can visualize uh, visualize the data set uh, that uh, is the object is representing an entirely of the data. Or I can visualize that for the most part you can you want to visualize the data set. So uh, notice uh, that I can uh, right click and visualize. So this will give you a window uh, that will show me the first hundred. Uh, I think first hander, yeah, first, uh, yeah, uh, 15 columns and 32,561 rows. Uh, so this is just a real simple uh, uh, snap uh, snapshot of the data. And I think this is the uh, first hander, I think, column of the data set, even though uh, there is not a hundred columns. So this is a data set we can see about the census and demographic information about various. So each row represents a person. these each row uh, i can uh, uh, so notice if if i can just click on any column i can get uh, very light descriptive stats of, of the data in this column uh, i can also convert this data object to csv file or comma separated files uh, where, where, uh, wherein i can then feed uh, that into sql database uh, just a minute okay uh, you can you uh, you can uh, click on data format conver uh, conversion uh, convert to a r double f convert to csv if you are uh, if you convert this uh, uh, data set into csv file uh, you can just uh, drag and uh, you can drag and drop convert to csv and uh, uh, click on run 
so uh, uh, so uh, when i have just told, when i just uh, uh, tell you about had thousand run time so this is first run time uh, you can see finished run and uh, this is first run time so i will uh, in this uh, uh, subscription i have used uh, one lakh uh, run time uh, so convert csv or uh, uh, just a minute okay so you can download uh, it uh, because this is uh, this file is converted in csv file uh, uh, you can uh, it uh, feed uh, that uh, uh, that into a sql database or open it in excel or notepad or, or something like that all uh, i had was uh, took this held it down uh, from the output node and drag it into uh, input node of this uh, so notice that that top node uh, is always the uh, input node so data is going in and uh, notice that there is data going out of this as well so it does uh, it goes in some kind of function or operation happens in here so this is operation just has to be converting to c, uh, c uh, csv file uh, comma separated values uh, it is open in uh, excel so uh, i will uh, when i will click on run so you can uh, so you can uh, download uh, click on download uh, it will download in Excel sheet CS or CSV file. Uh, you can see this experiment created and uh, download. So, so this. This is all about just uh, data formation uh, format conversion. Uh, you can convert it any format. Uh, so uh, you can. Uh, so if I want to export data, this is the main thing. Uh, export data. Export because uh, if you uh, if you have a data, uh, if you are if you have a, uh, a launch a website uh, or application uh, on Azure machine learning web apps, you are using web app services or any other services, Android, iOS uh, uh, application launch on uh, Azure. So, uh, so uh, when you are using uh, 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 web uh, web services, so uh, you can use this Azure machine learning uh, uh, predict any uh, thing, uh, uh, house predict or any other thing, uh, rents uh, uh, or any uh, a, or any uh, real time problems uh, on your web service on your website or application. Uh, so you can use export or import or input output data. So uh, you can use this. Uh, uh, just a minute. Uh, so you can use this uh, uh, data input and output. So uh, export data and import data. If you are uh, using export data, you can export any uh, of format. Uh, just a minute. Uh, OK. So uh, when I click export data uh, up uh, um, um, some si sidebar right on right side will be uh, occurred. Uh, so you can see this as your blob storage, Hive, Query, as your SQL their database mostly used sql database or if you are if you have a, a website or you are using sql database on azure uh, so you can export this data on your uh, uh, sql data because uh, if you are using uh, uh, if you if you predict on uh, predict anything on your web, uh, website if you publish uh, and uh, on uh, 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 application Android iOS etc. Uh, so your database is on uh, SQL. You are using SQL database, so you can export it. Uh, so you can export it uh, uh, SQL database, Hive Query, Azure Table, and Azure Blob Storage. So, uh, so you can just uh, give uh, your database server name, database name, and some uh, information. So. You can export uh, it when you uh, run this uh, Azure Machine Learning Studio. So this is all about export data, uh, delete it, and uh, you can. Another thing is import data. Import you can use. Uh, sorry, uh, import you can import and uh, import data from your uh, website or SQL data from your site. You can use uh, this. Uh, just a minute. Uh, you can use this and launch import data set. Click on launch import data set. You uh, you can see the uh, web URL or HTTP Hive Query as your SQL as, uh, because some many of students and uh, uh, companies and uh, industries like level and everyone know about uh, Azure SQL database. So click on Azure SQL database and next is subscription ID. Give subscription ID and database server name, then uh, database name and username password. So uh, your your connection is creating uh, with Azure uh, Azure Machine Learning Studio. So I uh, I will note 
discuss you about uh, what is as your uh, SQL. I just tell you about how to import data from uh, uh, your web and app services. So these some uh, information all about uh, some basic information uh, of uh, Azure Machine Learning Studio. So uh, we are uh, so we move uh, towards uh, machine learning, our model and uh, joining how to join and uh, create a model. So okay. OK, so uh, we'll take a data set and bring it uh, into a predictive model. Uh, have some data set like. Uh, OK. Just a minute. So uh, we will take a uh, data set and bring it into a predictive model and then deploy that model. So OK, so uh, to begin, uh, we are going to start. A brand new project. Uh, uh, you can save or uh, you can also save this project. Uh, and uh, the data set uh, that we are going to uh, to be working with, with is under samples and uh, there is a data set down called the flight on time performance. Uh, eight, just a minute flight. Our data set. So the, if you go ahead and visualize, uh, it's the, it's uh, I think it's data from 2011. Uh, I think uh, 2011. Uh, huh, yeah. So it's uh, it's data from 2011, and it's basically uh, can uh, can we use this data? Uh, can we use the past to predict the future? And can uh, and the past being each row in this data set refers to a flight. And then each column is uh, is an uh, attribute like a year, quarter, month, day of month, day of week, and many other columns. Uh, 18 columns in, in this data. Uh, so, uh, uh, so uh, is the arrival delay? Um, uh, okay, arrival bulk, arrival delay, arrival. Yeah. So, uh, is the arrival delay can be behind by 15 minutes? Yes or no? Uh, so uh, if there is uh, if there is a uh, one here, it means uh, just uh, uh, it means uh, that it was delayed more than 15 minutes. It will. So uh, uh, it then it's zero here. So uh, it gets called arrival delay uh, del 15. So arrival delay is at 15 uh, and this commonly is actually basically what I think uh, it is. It's based off this uh, column right here, uh, which is by uh, how many minutes was the flight on time or delayed uh, or early or all right. So uh, it was uh, uh, it was uh, arrival delay. It was uh, first uh, first uh, column with a minus minus six, uh, min uh, ne a negative six arrival delay. Uh, so it means the flight was six minute early. The flight uh, uh, actually I will just tell you about data. If you didn't know about uh, what is our uh, what is the data and uh, what is the information uh, in our data, you didn't uh, 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 create your model or perfect create your model uh, or not uh, uh, not perform any uh, machine learning task. So firstly, we discuss we mainly uh, focus on our data. So uh, I will just explain how to uh, deal, how to understand you uh, data. Uh, so the flight was uh, uh, it, uh, the fly, uh, so the flight was a, a six minute delay. So the next is 12 minute delay and 14 minute delay and the fourth is six minute delay. So if a number is here is greater than 15 drop. Uh, so in uh, uh, so drop a column. So if in quarter I will uh, I will also go ahead and drop this column. Uh, if we, if the information is not useful uh, like uh, year, quarter, month, day of month, day of week, career, uh, these information not uh, useful for us because uh, there are 18 columns. If you are uh, if you are uh, if you uh, um, 
less co less column you can use and you can uh, uh, predict a best uh, model uh, model on uh, machine learning so uh, i will just open notepad to explain where what uh, which column you can drop or which column you are cast category and uh, uh, so the first is year first year can drop okay uh quarter quarter you can drop okay so as far as the month is concerned let's take a look at month month looks like it is under the same thing month is also drop so uh whoever uh, uh, uh created uh, this uh, data uh, created all in the same month in the same year and in the same quarter so we are going to build a predictive model that's only going to be to be good for october like october so uh, we, uh, so with flights it's very sessional yeah, so if i would imagine that uh, you would uh, okay uh, so day of the month being what day is it uh, is it october i uh, i through 30 one through uh, 30 uh, so the problem uh, with the uh, day of the month day of month also drop uh, day of month drop okay uh so uh, is that i am going to use this feature uh, to build a predictive model it's not going to uh, to be very useful because i am going to predict the future what happens on october like uh, uh, today is uh, i think 23 uh, might be on different day it, I, I, it it might be a to uh, uh, sunday or monday instead of thursday friday or it might land on a different holiday or something like that so this feature it's to uh, uh, granular so so uh, so to this particular entry it is good historical information because i i can use this uh, feature to basically determine uh, is it a holiday or not um, or what day of the week uh, it is uh, sunday monday tuesday anything uh, so but uh, it looks like someone already uh, did uh, did uh, uh, that for us in here uh, over here uh, what is uh, what is day for the week which is here uh, are seven unique values here sunday to uh, sunday to uh, saturday so uh, so, so that uh, tells me uh, this is sunday through saturday for now let's drop it so uh, i am not uh, saying it's not useful i am saying it needs current form we are not going to uh, to be able to do much uh, with it uh, so we don't want the model learning uh, okay uh, so if it's uh, october 23 i think uh, uh, today is 23 uh, in every time in the future uh, it's going to uh, i think it's uh, uh, today is 25 uh, october so uh, no uh, no that's not uh, how it works because the way the calendar works it's going to keep shape days of the week and uh, things like that so a uh, day of the month i am going to ahead and drop but also note that uh, it might be useful to find out holiday can drive holiday all right so and uh, there is day of the week so uh, a day of the week uh, day of uh, day of the week uh, 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 is all about uh, monday through uh, saturday uh, so uh, we don't uh, know what lines up with what uh, what does uh, for mean or is a four uh, is a four uh, uh uh wednesday or a four is thursday like 444 uh, uh so uh, it depends where day of the week lines up uh, so we had uh, have to uh, to go do some uh, domain uh, uh, research and basically look up uh, what october uh, 2025 is and what day was uh, it back in 2011 or 2020 Uh, of october uh, 25 and and then we can uh, figure out what uh, what this day is uh, we will uh, do that later uh, so day of week and we want to do that because if we want a feature later that says a weekend is not weekend that would become very useful for us all right uh, so uh, day of the week uh, it's going to be useful and uh, right now it is uh, uh, cast it as numeric column i would say it is not numeric it is actually categorical remember uh, category categorical is distinct, uh, distinct uh, uh, bins or buckets of thing uh, that could have uh, uh, been numeric assumes uh, that uh, there is something uh, 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 something like a, a kind of progression between 1 and 7 uh, even though yes uh, you are processing uh, through time but the jump between 7 and 1 it doesn't make sense uh, 
because it's a cylindrical loop and this data set uh, currently doesn't uh, encompass that so we have to cast this into a category so okay so uh, we have to cast this into category because uh, it's a numeric right now day of week uh, so uh, day of week uh, day of uh, week uh, is uh, uh, is a cast category C A T E G O R Y G O R G O R Y. So okay. So for example, if I uh, so if uh, yeah, I can just imagine that if you uh, if you had anything to do with a Lahore uh, Lahore's uh, Alamic Bal Airport and then you would uh, probably be late or Karachi Airport or one of those really busy hub airport or uh, so yes let's include this but also include uh, because uh, they uh, they are uh, uh, course right now and it's also uh, treating as numeric uh, feature so. Other a carrier, C A W I carrier, cast uh, category and uh, origin, origin airport, airport ID, cast, uh, cast category, get a cast category and destination, destination, uh, airport, cast category, okay, uh, C R S. CRS uh, dev time, uh, CRS dev time uh, drop, drop, and uh, uh, CRS dev time and dev time bulk dev time. Okay, I'll just uh, tell you I didn't uh, write it. So a uh, CRS uh, bulk time uh, is also a uh, drop uh, dev delay, uh, uh, dev uh, so dev uh, departure delay, departure delay um, uh, uh, keep and it is. Is numeric data uh, de departure delay 15 is also a category uh, we didn't uh, drop it crs arrival time uh, uh, we will just we will just uh, drop it and arrival time bulk cast ca is cost category uh, it's, uh, is, uh, is it is cost i will uh, so we are not uh, uh, drop it arrival delay uh, uh, so uh, arrival delay is the main data response class so it means response class we uh, for over time being uh, we will just uh, drop it uh, will, uh, and uh, cancel uh, arrival 15 uh, is uh, not drop it and cancelled we are uh, just uh, drop it and uh, divert it uh, is also response class and uh, so uh, we also drop it so uh, but for now we are only going to predict arrival delay uh, for by 15 arrival delay 15 zero 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 so uh, this is going to be our response class and this is also need to be uh, cast into category so this is uh, basically our attack cat, uh, stat strategy what are uh, going to do as far as uh, data manipulation and uh, uh, transformation so so these are all about uh, 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 discuss about uh, uh, data data handling how to deal with data Okay. So, so now uh, we will pick uh, another data. Uh, flight, flight delay delays data. Flight delays data. Just a minute. Because, uh, okay, just a minute. Okay, now uh, I will told you about how to rename column. Uh, 
columns uh, renaming column is a very uh, uh, mundane uh, uh, but necessary task uh, in data science these are some of the scenarios that might make it necessary to rename columns so let's say uh, you have uh, you have read uh, in a data set i will just uh, make uh, some uh, uh, by the, uh, are already uh, implement the machine learning model for you guys uh, so uh, the first is airport course data set so uh, you can just drop it uh, airport course data set uh, okay i will just visualize this so suppose uh, so uh, someone uh, gave you a bad column name no you need to rename uh, it, it just have uh, four uh, columns we uh, it's a useful information for uh, to uh, to uh, train our model airport id city state and name because we are renaming this by default uh, uh, you can you, uh, you can see this uh, airport data set uh, data set visualize uh, Uh, so uh, uh, airport id city state uh, name so uh, okay uh, so uh, if you are uh, if you renaming uh, rename uh, your data because uh, Uh, so uh, so it, it just so happened that there is another table inside of azure machine learning so if you look at sample data set called airport course data set if you are drag uh, drag uh, it in your experiment uh, so uh, these are airport ids uh, you can i just visualize click on visualize uh, so uh, so there are airport id so the idea is if you if we can cross reference these ids and airport ids from actual flight table so uh, to this table we can actually then get what state uh, did the flight departure from what city did you flight departure from from like uh, lahore or karachi or islamabad so and also uh, what is the name of that airport what actually might be more clearly than airport id so uh we are going to uh, to do join on this uh, table later uh, but before we do that uh, through uh, something is going to cause that uh, to uh, to be a little bit uh, void uh, because we actually need to do this join twice right so uh, because uh, there is an uh, airport id for destination and there is airport id for origin uh, so all right uh, we are going to have uh, to make that join twice uh, uh okay click on uh, uh, so just Uh, edit meta meta edit metadata so uh, draw uh, drop it drag and drop and uh, uh, okay so uh, first edit metadata uh, when you uh, join this uh, from uh, azure uh, 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 airport course data set uh, edit metadata you uh, you uh, click on launch column selector Uh, you just click on uh, click three uh, uh, select column city state and name because airport id is uh, is our unique to uh, connect with uh, origin uh, airport id from origin to destination so uh, 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 so the new column is origin city origin state and air, origin airport so uh, my uh, my uh, uh, my data set my data set uh, 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 data set columns name is city state and name but we didn't uh, understand what city is uh, uh, like uh, a dark island island uh, anyak and barrow uh, i did we, i didn't know about what city is i think uh, it's origin city or destination city i di uh, i didn't know so we will uh, create a metadata so uh, uh, rename renaming renaming our data so uh, if we click this uh, visualize click on visualize so you can uh, you can see this origin city origin state and origin airport we uh, we are renaming this uh, as you can see this uh, origin city in origin state and the destination city destination because uh, destination city state and destination because this is this data is destination for destination use uh, uh, first, first origin and the other is so we uh, okay uh, you can see that uh, we can launch what's called a column selector so these are the column selector uh so these are the column we that we want to make uh, the changes to the so and notice that every bottom uh, there is a section called new column names 
the new column names accepts basically a list of new column names to be overwritten. Uh, so uh, same as for destination. OK, so the next uh, next step is to join data. So our main data set is flight on time performance. You can be I have because uh, I as I have already told you the uh, briefly explain the flight on performance data explain and uh, what columns were do I uh, drop and what columns do I cast study and uh, uh, what columns do I uh, uh, what columns uh, uh, are resp uh, responsive class. So we just uh, drag, uh, we just drop it and uh, just a minute. OK. So. So uh, so if I open up the sample data file, so I, I will go ahead and find the flight on time performance and just click on flight and uh, time performance flight and time performance and drop it so uh, so if we visualize right click and visualize on the output nodes we can see that airport id will be the unique identifier uh, okay i can just visualize this and go into flight on time performance and visualize you will uh, see that there are two columns that are uh, that are using these airport ids uh, this is the airport id uh, yeah so uh, uh, origin airport id these are the unique uh, unique uh, our our unique our data so uh, uh, we uh, so we will uh, uh, so when we combine these two data sets uh, to this section table uh, we will uh, we will uh, end up with at least three additional columns per join. So this is going to add a one, two, three, or is going to add one, two, three, or so. This is hopefully improve the quality that our machine learning model can learn from later. So uh, it's always going. Uh, we will. Uh, we just deal with our data first. We uh, create. Uh, uh, be, uh, best data we can uh, visualize. We can understand what what the data is and uh, what data we uh, will do train and what data we drop and uh, and uh, and in cast category. So you will have a module called joint data. So you can see this joint data. So we'll just join uh, uh, join first uh, our data flight on time performance with first uh, because we join all the data then. We uh, drop columns and then the next step is drop columns. So uh, before drop your columns, uh, what the information because we need uh, info, we need just uh, uh, informative data. We didn't know we didn't. Uh, 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 we didn't uh, allow the data to uh, pre uh, to train for data for train our model uh, like uh, year uh, year and uh, week uh, months so we didn't uh, concern with these data so uh, first we uh, join this two uh, this two data and then this uh, join data will uh, uh, join from uh, rename uh, 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 rename destination data and uh, from this data you can uh, see this uh, if you visualize this, you can uh, see this. Uh, you can uh, see this. Uh, uh, just a minute. Uh, okay. So visualize this. Uh, all we combine this data, join data, uh, uh, all uh, our column, all the columns. So uh, 26 columns, 18 plus. Uh, I think four. 18 plus four. Uh, 18 plus four. 18 plus eight. I think. Uh, yeah. Eight, no. Sorry. 18 plus eight. Uh, 18 columns. Uh, four columns is this. Uh, in this data, uh, 18 columns in this data, four columns in this, and four columns in this. So total that, so total our columns is uh, 26. So, well, so you can see uh, just a minute. So you can see this all the data, all our data, uh, origin, uh, airport ID, origin city, origin state, and origin airport, and the other column uh, origin uh, airport id to uh, destination city destination state and origin city so now we drop all uh, the columns we uh, we will uh, which we don't need for uh, our model like year quarter month day of month day of week career uh, and uh, crs uh, departure time deep time bulk uh, and uh, crs at arrival time arrival time bulk so these information are uh, didn't uh, we uh, didn't concern with this information. So uh, we 
will drop this we will drop uh, by using um, column in data set because we just select those columns but which we need so click on this launch column selector so uh, you can see uh, you can imagine uh, all the microsoft azure machine learning studio is just click and just drag and drop and click and you create a model so uh, so uh, available month day of month are those uh, um, are those who uh, which we don't need for pre predict our models our predict our pre our uh, um, uh, information our uh, informative data is day of we a uh, carrier uh, uh, so uh, sorry uh, year uh, quarter month uh, uh, day of month origin airport id uh, destination airport id crs uh, uh, arrival delay cancel diverted so uh, so uh, uh just a minute after uh, dropping uh, after dropping the column uh, you can uh, 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 run uh, you can run from this uh, uh, just uh, uh, we and uh, you can perform on uh learning and just click okay run select for you can run select for uh, for specific as well first step of azure machine learning studio now so uh so uh Okay, so select. Uh, uh, so uh, you will see on the side of bunch of summary statistics uh, in in this visualization. Select columns. Uh, so you can uh, visualize this. What columns uh, you select for your model and what columns you will drop. So 15 columns is left. So you, you need 15 columns to predict our your model. So if I click uh, uh, it in, we, uh, we can see that one of values is uh, uh, if you look at missing values, uh, we uh, so uh, our missing values is this like uh, uh, and, and departure delay 15 like 0000. These are missing values. Uh, we uh, we can see a summary of, of all the missing value in the data set. So if you if you uh, if you uh, click on, uh, for example, departure time book. So uh, departure uh, departure time book, uh, it is uh, completely filled in. Every value is there, uh, uh, same with the, uh, this one right here. Uh, but uh, if you want to go, if you have hundreds of columns or dozens of columns, uh, even hand thousands of columns, this would be a huge pain to click on every column them one uh, at a time and then to uh, view the missing value counts themselves now uh, uh, luckily uh, in, inside of azure machine learning there is a module uh, that uh, runs all or all of that for you so uh, we go to the left side uh, search uh, for something um, uh, so uh, search for something called uh, summarize data Summar summarize data so uh, summarize summarize uh, uh, you, uh, so that the, uh, uh, there is a summarized data uh, module uh, which, uh, which if uh, you drag is here in here and connect it. Uh, so OK, uh, uh, you can go ahead and, and run it. So uh, 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 summarized data is uh, is that uh, what column is missing value. You can uh, you can summarize data uh, what column what values are missing. So uh, run this and check visualize 
and you can go ahead and run it and uh, so i notice i am connecting to summarize data module so i am making con uh, conscious note that uh, this is not a uh, part of workflow this is like a separate uh, Dispect, uh, summarize. Uh, uh, remember, summarize data is not uh, for our uh, 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 machine learning uh, machine learning uh, uh, project. Uh, these are just uh, no, uh, just uh, summarize our data. What data is uh, useful? Uh, what data is uh, uh, missing? So um, th this is like a separate uh, descriptive text uh, test. This is separate test of quality, if you will. So uh, if I click try, uh, uh, visualize, you uh, I will uh, you can see basically the summary of all of uh, my columns. So um, so uh, day uh, day of week, carrier uh, departure time bulk and uh, departure delay. Uh, so what are my column names and what uh, and then what are uh, the observation? These are the counts. Then I have a list of unique values so notice days of week should have uh, seven days if um, uh, if uh, if you look at the missing value uh, missing value yeah uh, like this missing value day of week zero carrier zero uh, bulk time zero so a departure delay 3697 missing value and departure delay 15 15 for 15 minutes uh, 3000 690 uh, and arrival time and many others uh, 4417 are missing so missing if you uh, uh, if you look at the missing value account and that's probably but uh, what we care about the most of uh, this uh, 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 this uh, this data set uh, uh, which is how many missing value are there so in departure delay and departure 15 is 3697 missing value and that should be expected because departure 15 is derived from departure delay so uh, if the flight was late shorter than 15 minute departure delay becomes one instead of zero and then uh, we uh, we also look at what type they are so uh, in this case the missing value is so they are predictor predictors so uh, but uh, then in arrival delay arrival delay has 417 for any four, uh, sorry 4717 yeah 404717 uh, uh, missing value so this is also a problem because arrival delay 15 is also our response class because response class is our main uh, main data major data for predictions so this is what we are going to try to predict so remember uh, to, so remember, we are go, uh, going to use, uh, uh, use the past to predict the future. Uh, 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 where the past, we know the result that bro, uh, brought about uh, that that uh, past this current future. And uh, so in this case, we don't know the result of the past. So we uh, we can't learn from the past. So these rows uh, will have to be dropped in a little bit. But uh, while we are uh, we are uh, we are in here, uh, so uh, some more summary statistics we, we get in min and mix maximum. Uh, just uh, so uh, clean and missing data. If uh, clean and missing data, you can just uh, drag and drop, and uh, then uh, uh, drag and drop and connect the, the drop column from drop columns like select columns in data set, and then visualize summary data. You can see. Uh, the uh, missing value. Okay. Okay. Arrival 15 minutes. So we just uh, because we just uh, clean missing data. Select uh, 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 launch column selector. What uh, what we uh, what uh, what column you select for uh, drop uh, all the values for uh, because uh, missing values uh, when we uh, when we are uh, more missing values uh, uh, so uh, our model uh, didn't predict uh, didn't predict uh, uh, or accurate predictions. So we just select uh, uh, what column you need to. Uh, uh, missing value clear so uh, arrival uh, 15 is select and then summarize uh, our data and you can see uh, arrival 15 uh, a missing value in arrival 15 is zero so after this we pre we, uh, we train our data and uh, uh, train a model so check this arrival delay 15 is our major 
data. So uh, missing value count is be, uh, you can check before before summarize data. It has 3000, I think 3397. Uh, uh, yeah, 3397. So now uh, we uh, we uh, solve the problem for solve this problem. Uh, missing pro missing data problem. So now uh, we go uh, towards uh, uh, casting and categorical data and split and then split and train our model. So, so uh, the next thing uh, we have go to do uh, uh, to do uh, to we have go to split our data. So uh, split our data. So uh, and train set. So we uh, so uh, so the first uh, thing we have getting uh, to is categorical data. So why is categorical data need to be treated differently? So uh, this is the major thing to be understand. Uh, so listen carefully. Uh, so numerics uh, you can leave as a numer so numerics data you can leave as numeric. Uh, just make sure they uh, they are listed as numeric. But let's look at this data right here, uh, where it is flight ID and state. But the whole backbone of machine learning is based upon math algorithms and things like uh, like that. And uh, you can't do math on this category. You can do uh, solve the problem. Uh, you can't divide, for example, Lahore by Karachi. Uh, because uh, Lahore and Karachi and any other state name, uh, New York, uh, any other Islam, or any other uh, city name uh, 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 is uh, categorical data. You can, even you can't add Karachi to Lahore and get and get something else out. So the next backbone it, is it can't, can't do distance calculation distance calculation before principle of how a machine learning that something is similar and something is not similar to something else so uh, so that uh, normally uh, has to be done a machine learning model to understand it or for any computer to understand data in the form of categories is you uh, uh, you have to create a separate column for each category. This is uh, also called uh, one hot encoding. This is also called binarization problem. Uh, sorry, problem. Uh, so this is just called binarization. So this is uh, what we are going to uh, an example here. Uh, so notice if that if you are if you are Lahore, if you are in Lahore, so you can't pick Karachi. If you, so, and if you are Karachi, you can't be Islamabad. For example, uh, so uh, th uh, this will be the same thing for male or and female, and this would be same thing for time zones, and this will be same thing for zip codes, uh, city zip codes like for, uh, for 54,000 for Karachi and any other anything. Uh, uh, that's category. So uh, this is really prevalent in other data mining uh, platforms such as Excel and things like that. But in Azure Machine Learning, Azure Machine Learning actually has a data type called categorical, which actually will do this uh, tabularization uh, transformation for you without you have uh, to think about it. Um, so. Uh, uh, OK, so uh, what we have to do, uh, we have to go into Azure Machine Learning and cast all of our categories into categorical data types so that our computer treats them properly. So uh, let's go into our machine learning workspace uh, and split and click on split data. Uh, uh, so if you look under uh, under clean missing data, uh, just a minute. OK, uh, okay clean missing data uh, here. Uh, that's the last thing we have. We uh, uh, we did uh, you uh, we did. You should have also had the summarized data from last uh, uh, last two uh, last uh, before uh, before five, five, 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, I will told about the summarized data. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click on this uh, split data. And uh, uh, you can uh, 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 and summarize data that called unique value count. So it basically tells you how many categories are it. Basically, the this column set uh, uh, how you can tell that something uh, should be category. It's basically look into the ratio compared to count uh, versus how much there is. So uh, you will notice that there is only seven possible values and days of week out uh, out of almost five. Uh, 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 five lakh rows. Uh, that tells you uh, that uh, they just uh, they, this is uh, probably a category because there are a uh, few uh, unique values count in regard. So uh, 
you can uh, click uh, you can uh, split uh, you can uh, uh, split uh, you can join uh, from uh, this uh, casting categorical data and uh, from uh, with uh, split data and split uh, you can so, uh, split mode split rows you uh, sl uh, select your uh, splitting mode split rows or uh, uh, okay just a minute uh, split rows and so uh, the main thing is fraction of rows Uh, just a minute. So, uh, uh, how do you tell if the model is good or not? Well, ideally, uh, what you uh, uh, what you would do is if the model can predict future values correctly, well, then it's good model. But the problem is that its job, right? Its job is to predict the future. So, if you are going to evaluate on future data and that at that point the model has failed this its job because its past is it, its past its useful shelf. So, if the model is predicting after uh, after the future happens, yeah, I think that's a bit useless. So, what we have to do in the lab uh, in this uh, uh, machine learning studio lab uh, is we have to uh, synthetically treat future da world data and uh, we'll teach uh, you uh, some methodologies by which to do that. So the first methodology of many of by where this is one of many methodology and the first methodology uh, I, I will teach you uh, to train test plate. So the idea is to start with 100% of your data because in edit testing, check your visualize this data, uh, you are 100% uh, uh, of our data. So this is where we have uh, four lakh ninety nine thousand, I think. Oh, no, it's, sorry, fifty thousand, uh, five lakh four uh, forty three thousand ninety four thousand nine three ninety seven rows, uh, uh, or something like that. So the next thing if we need to do is we need to build two partitions, a training set and a testing set. In this case, we are going to use the ratio of seventy percent split data and select the fraction of rows zero point seven, but like seventy divided by hundred. So it it means point seven point seven uh, is by uh, is by default for uh, training uh, training uh, data and, uh, training data set will randomly go into the test set. Uh, 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 sorry, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Seventy percent of the data will randomly go into training set, and thirty percent of data will randomly go into testing set. And and if some of because. Uh, we just write the training uh, training data set like 0 0.7 it means 0.3 uh, percent is left for 4.3 percent left for set by default uh, set in testing set data remaining the set data so and if some of you uh, who know sampling this is this is this is uh, uh, this is this sampling without replacement we, so we are going to go ahead and put them into other two bags here so the idea with the uh, test set is we are going to take this uh, data uh, set and hide it away we are going to pretend that it's future world data and and this is really important because it uh, it has a labels of the actuals the ground truth the actual label so that idea is if we build our model we are, so we are going to take our model and we are going to build it using the 70 percent of training set and and the end of the day it's not going to see that 30 percent so the model that the test set is a new world data to that model the model has never been exposed to this uh, data set and the assumption is so if this that if this model that uh, was built uh, if the uh, if it built a generalization model uh, that from the truth in the length data and the idea if uh, 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 the, uh, the, uh, if it was point three percent the testing data we didn't know about uh, testing set so we just write point seven uh, we just know about point seven data we didn't know about testing data so uh, in my mind, I think uh, it's going to, uh, to be uh, I like I think of the 70% of training set it's going to be sacrificed to produce this model and uh, uh, it's going to learn uh, from the past what uh, resulted in the current levels being the way uh, they are and uh, uh, then that uh, idea is once the model has been built. So uh, and in our case, uh, it's going to predict whether or not the flight will be late or not. It, it just so happened in the test that in the past uh, we know if the flight uh, was late or not. So we have uh, basically we can build a comparison between predicted versus actual. So uh, 
com. So uh, was this uh, uh, is this uh, row right? Like uh, was this flight correctly predicted upon? We uh, we can just we can go ahead and do that. We and uh, if we aggregate all of the uh, uh, all of the rights and we aggregate all all the wrongs, eventually we we can get some pretty good uh, measures of performance out of this model. So before uh, before I go. Uh, into what uh, st stratified split is we, is we have uh, to look at something really quick. Uh, so what uh, stratified split does is it keeps the ratio the same on both the test set and the training set. So if we look at at rival delay and rival uh, click on uh, testing uh, training data visualize. So You can check the training set data 35,000, 35, 3,078 rows. So, our remaining test set data uh, is on testing. You can visualize this the testing data. OK, so 15,000, rows left for our testing data. So uh, it kept the number of rows basically or it kept the number of responses class label in the same ratio as it was before. So let's also go ahead and uh, look at our result data uh, set to which is 30% of our data. So this is uh, should be the remaining rows of data. The next so uh, the next thing is uh, to train our model. So uh, OK, so now we train our model. Before uh, train our model, you uh, you know about what uh, uh, what the data is, what uh, categorical data or regression problem. Uh, so uh, we finally get to take our data set feed into our uh, feed into our machine learning model have the model iteratively uh, learned by itself from historical data or what uh, are the kind of things that brought together the circumstances for the results so basically whether or not a flat will so we get to answer those questions soon. So uh, listen, uh, uh, let's go back to the data mining framework and uh, remind ourselves where we are in the data mining framework. So we have a model ready data. So our uh, all the data uh, are in split uh, in between uh, training set and uh, test. Think that first, uh, uh, what we are going to do uh, is we are uh, going to select an algorithm to train on. So uh, select on, uh, just click on our uh, machine learning, machine learning, click on machine learning and uh, select on train uh, and click on uh, uh, just initialize model sorry uh, click on initialize model and uh, click what problems uh, you can uh, solve uh, solve this uh, you can solve this so understand your problem so uh, so evaluate your problem so it iterate further uh, uh, where we are in the methodology of the train test split so where we are right now is we are right here so we are going to build our model. It's not until predictions that uh, we care about the test set. So 70% went on the train set and 30% uh, went on uh, test side. So we are going to pretend that. Uh, uh, so uh, we are going to pretend that it's tomorrow sales data, tomorrow's flight data, for example, like this. Uh, so okay, our problem is on flight data. Okay, so the next thing we go uh, go to do is to train machine learning model in Azure Machine Learning Studio. You have to module uh, called a train data. So uh, you uh, you want to type a train model? Uh, just click on train model so train model and you can drop it uh, train model uh, 
the output nodes uh, will tell you uh, uh, what it wants on the left side means if it wants uh, an end train model it uh, and uh, end train model means an algorithm right the model is in uh, is the uh, is the result of training and then the model is the applicable form of the algorithm the algorithm is just a blank set of instruction remember algorithm is just a blank set of instruction on how to build that algorithm the next thing is it wants in a data set so it wants to learn from the past year uh, 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 so notice that uh, we want to give it the training set the 70 percent of data now what we are going to do is we need to select an algorithm so we if we uh, go to azure machine learning and uh, look at algorithm uh, algorithm just click on evaluate initialize model so uh, in, uh so uh, uh, so go ahead and expand that uh, initialize model and uh, uh, now we we get into this our uh, this four families of machine learning uh, models uh, in anomaly uh, anomaly detection classification clustering and regression so once you identify what your machine learning problem is you will find out what your machine learning algorithm type you need so uh, there are four type of machine learning algorithm inside of Azure machine learning. So the first thing you need to figure out uh, is this uh, a supervised learning data set, meaning do you have uh, labels? Labels mean uh, what is that uh, you want to know from the past? In this case, I want to know it if a flight is going to be delayed in the past. Do I have that in my data set? Do I already have but uh, uh, whether or not from the past uh, this flight was delayed or not? Yes or no? So uh, uh, if if it is yes, uh, suppose like uh, if I consider like it is yes, then it's supervised learning. I have labels to the past. I know the answer is in the past. I know the stock price in the past. So that supervised learning. So the next thing you have to figure it out is that that is that data type it is. So just because it is supervised learning, uh, there is two type of supervised learning algorithm. There is aggregation type, there is aggreg uh, aggregation type problem. If your feature, if the response, if a, uh, if you uh, sorry, uh, if your feature, uh, if the response class is a label, if it is a category, it is a classification task. OK, so uh, you are trying to predict in this pixel like red, blue or uh, green. Uh, in this case, we are not going to predict how many minutes uh, will it be uh, uh, late by. We are going to predict whether or not it will be late or at all past 15 minutes. So um, uh, uh, we, uh, so that tells us its classification. Now regression uh, we have been uh, if I want to predict how many minutes if, uh, it would be late. So, uh, so there was a column at the beginning uh, that was that we dropped called I think arrival delay and that was in minutes. So if we want to predict that later, yeah, that would be a regression prompt problem. So uh, now that we know what type of algorithm we need. So next step is what we problem we need. So uh, we go to and expand classification uh, cl sorry classification problem so uh, uh, we go and classification task and uh, then the next thing i want you to know in how many classes are there in the response class so notice that there are two class you are late or you are not late so uh, like zero there uh, that is uh, two class type algorithms so basically we are stuck with these type of type of algorithm right here now uh, if you uh, if you have to calculate super late uh, if you if you had uh, that uh, in your hand uh, in slight case uh, problem uh, we know uh, we know we, we have two class classification problem and, and now uh, uh, this is, is the cool 
that is opening for a machine learning model uh, this is uh, this, uh, uh, this is uh, uh, this kind of nice uh, this is so course of uh, machine learning because you don't need to know why uh, uh, them and uh, they are working uh, but uh, but uh, uh, that now how a good practitioner uh, does thing uh, they are good probably understand a, a little bit uh, before they start doing something with the with it you uh, so first thing uh, we are going to do we are not uh, going to uh, really get into a in these algorithms if you want to know difference uh, so equation most of it are uh, known parametric uh, algorithm so if we if we have a lot of uh, categories the cn tree uh, are really really good uh, uh, at um, dis uh, discerning uh, 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 category apart from one another so uh, if uh, if we had lot of numerical data uh, like many other col uh, columns uh, in numeric data that would have been a different issue so, uh, but we have lots of category. Basically, there are three families of decision tree problems inside decision tree problems. Uh, uh, two class problem, two class decision. Uh, you can expand it. Uh, decision tree decision for decision uh, three problem three families. So of. Um, decision uh, uh, tree problem so uh, so our problem is two class problem so two class problems we are select just two class decision for rest so so, so uh, when you do the connect this here uh, just uh, connect with a train model because uh, uh, blank this uh, blank uh, we are, I have already already told you uh, uh, bl uh, without um, uh, split data your model is nothing uh, your model is uh, uh, didn't know what the data is so uh, I am going to connect this first and uh, then inside of this first there are uh, what's called uh, two, uh, two new parameter uh, a, a model module is there uh, there uh, should be some kind of launch button on right side uh, launch column selector so this is time it says value required uh, column and select the uh, uh, departure delay 15 uh, we just uh, because we train just uh, this column so uh, uh, we are we are uh, trying to predict is the, is this uh, a state predictor because uh, we didn't actually take your data set and predict on any column what type of carriers is at what is the departure time what is the departure uh, departure place so uh, so you can go to predict and predict any of these functions so in this case we we, we know that we want to predict so launch the uh, column selector and click uh, and click just column uh, what uh, what you uh, uh, what what column you want to uh, predict so uh, because there is a, a departure delay 15 uh, 15 because 15 means a 15 minute delay is a response class uh, so now that our training model know what to do so uh, now uh, our model is what to do know about so um, the next thing you want to do is you want to uh, look at your algorithm model uh, module uh, so the algorithm module for me is this case uh, is a two class decision for us once you click on it you will notice that there is uh, uh, the, uh, there is a uh, uh, just a minute. Uh, yeah, uh, there uh, there is a toolbar. Uh, uh, we'll go ahead and let and uh, click and uh, click and uh, check the, uh, and check the binary uh, uh, decision fresh classifier. Uh, okay, so uh, re uh, re resampling method and bagging and uh, create trainer model single parameter and number of decision tree. Uh, you you can change uh, you can change as you required uh, your decision tree. Uh, what iteration uh, do you want? Uh, uh, one to one hundred, two hundred. What accuracy do you want? Ninety five, ninety percent, eighty percent. What you want? So depend on your decision. Uh, depend on your decision tree uh, trees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. By 
I think it is 15. Uh, I just check you it uh, uh, by default. It is just eight and uh, uh, maximum depth of your decision tree max depth is mean depth means I just uh, uh, I will explain them best depth three. Uh, uh, I, uh, I just a uh, minute. Uh, what is depth tree? Uh, OK, you can see uh, you can see uh, uh, you can see on my screen a paint uh, depth tree means. Uh, I will just tell you about art. Uh, sorry. Uh, size. Size. OK, you can check depth of tree. Depth of tree means like this. You have multiple nodes and trees. Uh, you have multiple. OK, so the depth is like this depth depth. I'm uh, 5, 5, 6, 7, 10, 10, 12, 15. Uh, depend on your uh, depend your accuracy, but you want. Um, so in this case, uh, one uh, one the number of decision tree is one and maximum depth tree of decision tree is five. five. Number of random split node uh, is 128. Minimum number of samples per leaf node 34. It's up to you what you want and what you uh, what the accuracy you want. So so that humans can understand it. So what we are about to do here uh, should not be used in production. I am doing this for uh, educational purpose. The first thing I want to do is I want to re the reduce the number of trees down to one. Uh, I want only to zoom in uh, one uh, tree right now uh, by the way. Never deploy a single tree in production in the real world. You will regret it uh, because uh, uh, you can in increase the number one, two, three, four, five, eight, and thirty-two. Up to you, it's up to you. That's going uh, to be a huge tree. It's uh, it's might not even be able to look at. Uh, even if I had a big screen monitor, if uh, so, if I want, uh, if I want uh, add the tree, I will change this to like five or six. I I am going to change it to five, and then the next thing is uh, is number of random uh, split. Uh, is left is uh, 128. Uh, leave at alone for now. We uh, will tune this um, uh, parameters in a different, we uh, different um, uh, scenario, uh, uh, different talk. The next thing you will uh, you will talk at the minimum number of samples per leaf node. So basically, this is the minimum number of observation uh, I, I must have uh, after a split. So once you have set all that, you go ahead and hit the run. Uh, just uh, hit the and run the button. Uh, so remember, we are ignoring the 30% for now. Uh, we just uh, uh, train our data 70% and we didn't know about what uh, our 30% data is. So we have to uh, have enough representation in order for split to uh, uh, on that decision. And uh, uh, again, I want to state uh, state and uh, uh, this is really uh, dumped and simplistic model. Don't actually use this is production. Now this is uh, uh, this is so we can actually do we uh, and what we are do uh, about to do now we uh, which is right click and visualize on the model uh, to train and visualize our uh, and visualize our model uh, uh, it's it's go it's got five uh, i think it's got five uh, ten uh, just a minute it's got uh, five yeah five five uh, depth more five depth model uh, so uh, now, uh, no, uh, now remember earlier the default was uh, 32. Uh, can you imagine how basically hairy and that gets as it goes down? Now remember this is a very simplest tree, and also you never want to use a sim single tree in production. Uh, uh, remember, please, you didn't uh, 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 do this tree for the model for just one number of decision tree. You just uh, at least you use a 10, 15, uh, what you want on your accuracy level so um, but the, but that they were just showing uh, for just educational purpose or just uh, uh, for this session um, can you see what uh, the, what the tree is doing what the model is doing to uh, to your uh, brand new data so uh, 
just uh, so uh, so after uh, all the predict uh, prediction uh, in the Azure Machine Learning, you uh, you will publish uh, to gallery and set up your uh, web services, uh, 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 web service predict web services model recommend and uh, publish on your web services uh, uh, which you publish on your Azure uh, cloud computing. So. Uh, and uh, if you publish uh, on this to so click on uh, uh, set up Azure uh, uh, web services and if you want to get to uh, do uh, for uh, uh, others uh, to know uh, uh, your uh, model to predict your model to publish for gallery. So this is the main difference. So this is uh, all about my session. I hope uh, you have learned a lot about uh, Azure Machine Learning, how to start Azure Machine Learning and how to deploy. Uh, you can deploy it. Uh, just just click on your website and if you if you publish on your uh, uh, web because I didn't know I didn't uh, uh, talk to you about uh, how to deploy your web. So you can uh, deploy this model in your web or mobile app. Thank you. Uh, um, so just a minute so thank you uh, uh, for listening uh, thank you for uh, listening patiently in uh, and uh, uh, debug your brains and uh, in future if you if you have any question from my side you can contact me with me uh, my contact details is here uh, linkedin mohammed junaidik pal and uh, site uh, my portfolio the junaidik pal.com and the email my hello at the rate the junaidik pal.com uh, thank you again for joining me and uh, thank you. Uh, thank you so much Adil for giving me this opportunity and inviting me. Uh, Allah Hafiz. Adil, uh, Adil, your voice is not, uh, you are not audible. Uh, no. Uh, Adil, you are not audible right now. Check your. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, I'm audible right now. Yes. 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 Okay. Just a minute. Let me set things up. I'm audible right now. Yes, you are audible. Uh, so thank you all for listening uh, and learning a lot of great stuff from Junaid. Uh, I would like to thank Junaid for coming in this session and telling us uh, and teaching us about Azure. Uh, it's, it's that week right now in the technological world and there is a lot of work going in artificial intelligence, data science, machine learning. So this is one of the hot topics that is uh, that is, uh, sorry. This is one of the hot topics that is being discussed in the technological fields and a lot of research is going on these topics as well. So we will have our next event on uh, OK. Uh, OK. We have our next event on Sunday. Uh, the event named the event is on quantum computing. So I hope to see you all there. Thank you. Uh, the question, uh, the quiz will be uh, the quiz will be shared on the content link, so you can access the quiz and submit it, and the winners will receive the e-certificate. Thank you.